New Jersey NVC Motorcycle Practice Test Question 1. Before every lane change, you should A. Check your mirrors B. Check your blind spots C. Look over your shoulder D. Do all of the above 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Before every lane change, you should check your blind spots, check your mirrors, and look over your shoulder. Question 2. You should not ride your motorcycle alongside of cars because A. The car driver cannot make a turn. B. Your bike may skid. C. You could be in a blind spot. D. None of the above. 5 Four, three, two, one. Answer C. You should not ride your motorcycle alongside of cars because you might be in the blind spot area. Question 3. It is important to maintain a space cushion behind the vehicle in front of you. A. At all times. B. Unless you are stopped. C. When riding through school zones. D. In periods of heavy traffic. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. It is important to maintain a space cushion behind the vehicle in front of you at all times. Even when stopped, hazardous situations could occur where you don't want to be too close. Question 4. If your motorcycle was made before 1978, you must remember to A. Get a special license B. Avoid carrying passengers C. Only ride during the day D. Turn the headlight on when riding at all times 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. If your motorcycle is older than 1978, you must remember to turn on the headlight at all times. Motorcycles made after 1978 automatically turn on the headlight. Question 5. All of the following affect your blood alcohol concentration except A. Your weight B. Time of day C. How fast you drink D. The amount of alcohol 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. The time of day does not affect your blood alcohol concentration. Alcohol can affect your driving at any time. Question 6. While riding, your feet should be positioned. A. Hovering above the ground in case you tip. B. As far forward as possible. C. Pointing down for easy shifting. D. Firmly on the footrests. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. While riding, your feet should be positioned firmly on the footrests. Question 7. While passing a row of parked cars, you see that there is a driver in one of the parked vehicles. What should you do? A. Speed up to pass the vehicle quickly. B. Stop until the driver has exited the vehicle. C. Beep your horn to ensure the driver knows you're there. D. Ride in the right of the lane position so you will be close to the vehicle. 5. Four, three, two, one. Answer C. If you see there is a driver in a parked vehicle you are passing, you should beep your horn to let the driver know you're there and avoid the possibility of him opening the door into your path. Question 8. Fill in the blank. Can increase your visibility. A. Changing your lane position according to traffic situations. B. 
Riding in the left lane position. C. Riding with a passenger. D. Pulling in the clutch. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. Position yourself in the portion of the lane where you are most likely to be seen and where you can maintain a space cushion around you. Change position as traffic situations change. Question 9. To avoid a collision with a hazard in the center of the lane, which lane position is should you ride in? A. Right. B. Left. C. Center. D. Left or right. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. To avoid a collision with a hazard in the center of the lane, you should ride in the left or right lane position. Question 10. Using your brakes properly means A. Alternating between the front and rear brakes B. Using the front brake only in emergencies C. Using the front brake only for most stopping situations D. Using both brakes every time you stop 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Using your brakes properly means using both brakes every time you stop. This is the most effective braking method. Question 11. When riding through a turn, you should turn. A. Your head and shoulders. B. Your head only. C. Your whole upper body. D. All of the above. 5. 4. 3, 2, 1. Answer B. When riding through a turn, move your head only. Moving your shoulders or upper body may turn the motorcycle more than you want to. Question 12. When should you have your headlight on? A. At night and in fog. B. Between dusk and dawn. C. At all times. D. At night only. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. You should have your headlight on at all times. This increases your visibility to other drivers. Question 13. When riding through a curb, the most effective lane position. A will change throughout the curve. B is the right of the lane position. C is any lane position as long as you maintain it. D is in the center of the lane position. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. When riding through a curb, the most effective lane position will change throughout the curve. Use lane position to your advantage. Question 14. When can a motorcycle ride in an HOV lane? A. If riding with another motorcycle. B. At all times. C. During designated time periods only. D. Only when carrying a passenger. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. A motorcycle is always permitted to ride in a high occupancy vehicle lane, even while not carrying a passenger. Question 15. You can be sure another driver will yield to you when. A. You can never be sure a driver will yield to you. B. You are legally entitled to the right of way. C. They are beginning to slow down. D. They make eye contact with you. 5, 4, 3, 
two, one. Answer A. You can never be sure a driver will yield to you, even if a driver makes eye contact with you or appears to be slowing down. Question 16. What lane position should you ride in when being passed by another vehicle? A. Center or right? B. Left or right? C. Left. D. Center. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. When being passed by another vehicle, keep a center of the lane position. This keeps you away from vehicle hazards while discouraging the vehicle from merging back too early. Question 17. You should downshift through the gears when you A. Need to slow down B. Need more power to accelerate C. Are approaching a stop sign D. Need to do any of the above 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. It is best to downshift when you need to stop, slow down, or if you require more power to accelerate. Question 18. The best position for traction when it is raining is A. The left lane position B. In the track left by other drivers C. The center lane position D. The shoulder of the road 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. The best position for traction when it is raining is to ride in the tracks that have been left by other drivers. Question 19. Motorcycle drivers cannot drive on highways. A. At night, because your lights aren't bright enough. B. During rush hour. C. Unless you can travel safely at the minimum posted speed. D. Without proper sunglasses. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. As a motorcycle, you cannot drive on highways unless you can travel safely at the minimum posted speed. Question 20. If you are riding over an obstacle on the road, the best way to absorb shock is to A. Raise off the seat B. Avoid using the brakes C. Lean back as far as possible D. Increase your speed to minimize bumps 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A if you are riding over an obstacle on the road, the best way to absorb shock is to raise off the seat and let your knees and elbows absorb the shock. Question 21. When carrying a load, you should A. Secure it as far back as possible. B. Keep it high. C. Only use approved luggage holders. D. Distribute the load evenly. 5. 4 3 2 1 Answer D. When carrying a load, you should distribute the load evenly to keep the motorcycle balanced. Question 22. If the rear wheel locks, you should A. Not release the brake B. Grab the front brake C. Release the brake D. Increase the throttle 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. If the rear wheel locks, do not release it. Keep it locked until the motorcycle comes to a stop. Question 23. Which brake provides the most stopping power? A. The front brake. B. The rear brake. C. Both brakes equally. D. The emergency brake. 
five, four, three, two, one. Answer A. The front brake provides the most stopping power. The front brake provides 70% of the stopping power. The rear brake provides 30%. Always use both brakes to stop or slow down. Question 24. Use your horn when. A. You pull the kill engine switch. B. You are crossing rail tracks. C. Think someone may enter your lane without seeing you. D. You are making a left turn. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. Use your horn when you think someone may enter your lane without seeing you. Question 25. When riding with a passenger you should ride, fill in the blank, around curves. A. Slower. B. At normal speed. C. Faster. D. The speed limit. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. When riding with a passenger you should ride slower around curves. Your motorcycle will react slower with more weight. Question 26. At night, how can the car ahead of you help you see obstacles? A. Follow in the path of the other driver. B. Follow the driver very closely. C. Watch the taillights to see bumps on the road. D. Watch the driver's movements. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. At night, watch the taillights of the car ahead of you. If they bounce, it means that there are bumps on the road you should be aware of. Question 27. When someone is merging into your lane from an off-ramp, the best strategy is to A. Speed up B. Change lanes C. Slow down D. Beep your horn 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. When someone is merging into your lane from an off-ramp, the best strategy is to change lanes so that the vehicle will have plenty of room to merge. Question 28. The staggered formation is the best choice when A. Parking parallel to the curb B. Riding in a group C. There is an emergency situation D. Taking curves 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. The staggered formation is the best choice when riding in a group. It helps you stay close together while maintaining a space cushion. Question 29. It may be important to change your lane position if you are A. Riding on a multi-lane road B. Approaching a blind intersection C. Riding in a residential area D being followed. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. It may be important to change your lane position if you are approaching a blind intersection. Question 30. A surface which provides little traction for motorcycles is A. Snow. B. Gravel roads. C. Wet pavement. D. All of these. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. Snow, wet pavement, and gravel roads provide little traction for motorcycles. Question 31. When scanning road conditions, you should be looking for a. Road conditions B. Escape routes C. Traffic conditions
the all of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. When scanning road conditions, you should be looking for escape routes, traffic conditions, and road conditions that could present a hazard. Question 32. Why is it important to cross railroad tracks at an angle of at least 45 degrees? A. It gives you the best view of oncoming trains. B. At a lesser angle, you may catch your tires. C. It allows you to cross tracks quickly. D. A larger angle would be unsafe. 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. Cross tracks at an angle of at least 45 degrees to avoid catching your tires on the tracks. This could cause you to lose balance or tip over. Question 33. Another driver is most likely to try and share a lane with you. A. In heavy traffic. B. When preparing to turn at an intersection. C. When they want to pass you. D. When doing any of the above. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Another vehicle may try to share a lane with you in heavy traffic, when someone wants to pass you, or when preparing to turn at an intersection. Ride in the center of the lane to discourage drivers from sharing your lane. Question 34. While riding your motorcycle in high-risk areas, you must cover, fill in the blank, to reduce the time you need to react. A. Your head with a helmet. B. Your whole travel lane. C. The clutch and both brakes. D. Your eyes with goggles. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. While riding your motorcycle in high-risk areas, you must cover the clutch and both brakes to reduce the time you need to react. Question 35. How often should you check the tires on your motorcycle? A. Every time you ride. B. Once a month. C. Once a week. D. At the start of every season. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. You should check the tires on your motorcycle every time you ride. A tire problem can be a lot more hazardous to a motorcycle than to a car. Question 36. When scanning the road for hazards, how far ahead should you be looking? A. 5 seconds. B. 12 seconds. C. 40 feet. D. 20 feet. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Enter B. When scanning the road, look 12 seconds ahead for hazards and potential dangers. Question 37. Grabbing the front brake could result in A. A rear wheel lock. B. Stopping quickly. C. Pupping a tire. D. A front wheel lock. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. Grabbing the front brake can result in a front wheel lock. Apply the brake with steady pressure. Question 38. The best way to discourage another driver from trying to share the lane with you is to A. Beep your horn. B. Flash your brake light. C. Ride in the center lane position. D. Ride in the left lane position. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. 
The best way to discourage another driver from trying to share the lane with you is to ride in the center lane position. Question 39. For the most stable riding, your knees and feet should be positioned. A against the gas tank and firmly on the foot pegs. B against the gas tank and pointing down. C away from the gas tank and pointing down. D away from the gas tank and on the foot pegs. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. For the most stable riding, your knees should be positioned against the gas tank, and your feet should be firmly on the foot pegs. Question 40. When parked beside a curb, your motorcycle must A. Be parallel to the curb B. At the front wheel on the curb C. Be lying on the curb D. Be positioned at an angle with the back wheel to the curb 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. When parked parallel to the curb, your motorcycle should be parked at an angle with the back wheel to the curb. Question 41. If your motorcycle starts to wobble, you should A. Apply the rear brake only B. Open the throttle slowly C. Close the throttle slowly D. Apply the front brake only 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. If your motorcycle starts to wobble, you should close the throttle slowly. Never try to accelerate out of a wobble. Question 42. How can you increase your visibility at blind intersections? A. Always ride in the center lane position. B. Ride in the lane portion in which you'll be seen first. C. Flash your brake light. D. Stop beyond the stop line so you'll be seen. 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. Increase your visibility at blind intersections by riding in the portion of the lane that you will be seen first by other vehicles. Question 43. When parked at the roadside, you should park at a fill-in-the-blank degree angle with your fill-in-the-blank tire touching the curb. A90. Front. B45. Front. C90. Rear. D45. Rear. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. When parked at the roadside, you should park at a 90 degree angle with your rear tire touching the curb. Question 44. To maintain adequate control of the motorcycle, your arms should be positioned. A with elbows locked. B at an angle of 90 degrees. C with wrists locked. D with elbows slightly bent. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. To maintain adequate control of the motorcycle, your arms should be positioned with elbows slightly bent. Question 45. If the throttle is stuck, what should you do? A. Jump off the motorcycle. B. Immediately flip the engine cutoff switch and pull the clutch. C. Stop the motorcycle using the rear brake only. D. Pull in the clutch. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Enter B. If the throttle is stuck, you should immediately flip the engine cutoff switch and pull the clutch. Question 46. When making a normal turn, 
Should the motorcycle rider lean? A. Yes, the rider should lean forward. B. Yes, the rider should lean in the opposite direction. C. Yes, the rider should lean with the motorcycle. D. No, the rider should not lean. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. During a normal turn, the rider should lean with the motorcycle. This helps maintain balance. Question 47. Who can share a lane with motorcycles? A. No one. B. All other vehicles. C. Other motorcycles only. D. Motorcycles and small cars. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. Motorcycles should be treated like any other vehicle and require a full lane width to maneuver safely. Question 48. How should you position your body in a slow, tight turn? A. Lean in the opposite direction of the motorcycle. B. Lean with the motorcycle. C. Your body should remain upright. D. Lean back as far as possible. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. In a slow, tight turn, your body should remain upright while the motorcycle leans. Question 49. Because a motorcycle brake light is not as visible as a brake light on a car, you should A. Beep your horn whenever you're about to stop B. Install extra lights on your motorcycle C. Flash your brake light when you think it may not be seen D. Only brake when absolutely necessary 5 4 3 2 1. Answer C. Because a motorcycle brake light is not as visible as a brake light on a car, you should flash your brake light when you think it may not be seen. Question 50. Motorcycles must be cautious when approaching an intersection because they are smaller, and therefore, A. Are much faster than cars. B. Appear further away. C. Drive much slower than cars. D. Appear closer than they are. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. Motorcycles must be cautious when approaching an intersection because they are smaller, and therefore, they appear further away. Exercise caution when approaching intersections. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and share.